Hi, I'm Secret Agent Nix. Do you sometimes feel like a secret agent or superhero? I think we all do once in a while. But today, you will see both sides of mine. I see in the newspaper that the city of Las Vegas needs a superhero to find Vegas Nay? She disappeared. I know how to find her. Let me open my briefcase and get my tools to find her. Superhero spin! I found her. She's on a mountain dressed like Wonder Woman. I knew it. She found that bag of goodies for the Knicks Face Awards. Vegas Nay, you are now safe. Now Vegas Nay will show you the steps of becoming a superhero. With your jumbo pencil and milk, apply to the lid. With your B11 brush, apply and blend over the lid. What's remaining on the brush, apply to the brow bone. Using a cream base will allow your shadows to last longer and you'll make your eyeshadows pop. Grabbing your jumbo pencil and black bean, apply this color to the outer corner of your eye. I'm going for a very dramatic look today. So using a black base will actually have the shadows appear more opaque and richer. Also using a cream base will allow the shadows to grab on easier. Using your Wicked Dreams 24 Shadow Palette, apply the black matte with your B31 brush. First apply the black matte shadow onto the cream base and then softly blend outward. Take your time on this step because I think this is the most important part of the smoky eye. I especially like using cream black bases under my black shadow so when I take pictures it doesn't seem as translucent. Grab your Wicked Dreams palette and apply the soft brown above the black crease and lightly blend and work your way over the crease. With this particular method I apply the shadow with a heavier hand and as I work my way up towards the brow bone, I loosen up the pressure of my hands so it's a softer gradient effect. With the same palette, apply the cream base all over the brow bone and make sure you shade very well so it transitions into the brown. Using your B15 brush, softly drag the soft brown into your inner crease. Here we're going to refine some edges on your outer wing using the B18 brush. Apply this beautiful shimmery midnight blue and softly blend on your outer corner of your lid. Wonder Woman's known for her striking blue eyes and all that gold she wears, so I thought I'd tie the two colors together. Using a softer hand, lightly work your way onto your middle of the lid. Then apply the beautiful copper shadow onto the inner lid, and I like to use this with a flat B17 brush. Grab your cream shadow and gold. Here I'm applying to my hand so I have more control of application. Apply this color onto the inner lid and work your way over to the middle of the lid. Time for precision. Apply your skinny black liner on your lower lash line and work your way outward going over and above the wing liner that we already applied with the shadow. Now apply the dark royal blue onto the inner lid and work your way outward. Using this flat angle brush will allow you to have more control when you're working onto the lower lash line. 
Now grab your stunning glam liner in azure and lightly apply over the blue shadow that we just applied and wing it outward and inward. For more added drama, I'm using the Jumbo Pencil and Milk onto the waterline, and this will also make your eyes appear larger. Okay guys, I'm officially obsessed with this curved liner. The way this tool was specifically designed allows you to have more control over applying liner. I know it sounds funny, but it's true. You gotta try it. The pointer of this tool is so small that I could work in small edges, but I can also add thickness and boldness with application. Depending on your eye shape, I usually go with a thinner liner on my eyelid because I want my eyes to appear larger, so if you have more lid space, it usually gives off that illusion. Here I see some empty spots that I want to appear darker, so just go in with your liner and darken and define. I'm really hoping for miracles tonight, so I'm using my Fly With Me mascara. I actually grabbed these lashes because they had rhinestones on them, yet just realized that they're called Superhero. Kind of cool. The lash pad on these lashes are pretty stiff, so what I did is I worked my way on the outer part of the lashes, and then I dragged them and I crimped down on their inner part of my lash line. Fill your entire lip with the retractable lip liner in red, and then finish off with the red lip cream in Monte Carlo. And here's your superhero look. Please vote for Vegas Stay up to three times a day at NYXFaceAwards.com from June 21st to the 24th. Keep Vegas Day from disappearing on us. Mwah. <laughs>